Keep watching if you want to learn a simple solution to every IFR pilot's worst nightmare. Hey guys, Tarek Maryface, and welcome to another Maryface Aviation video. Today I want to show you a trick, and I think the closest I could classify this video to is a life hack video. Just one, but a very essential life hack. Okay, so this solution is basically a good way to give you a fighting chance to get out of hard IMC in the case where you have a total panel failure. I mean pressure instruments, gyro instruments, and even if you're unlucky enough, your turn coordinator, even if it's an electric turn coordinator. It's not in the PPL syllabus, it's not in the CPL syllabus, and it's not even in the IR syllabus. This technique might not necessarily work with every aircraft, however, I can guarantee it works with the 152 and the PA-28, and it probably works with all the uh, other variants of those types, so the Cessna 172, the Piper Arrow, as well as the Warrior, etc., etc. So how did I find out about this? Well, as you guys may know, I'm doing the flight instructor course right now, and my flight instructor is a really knowledgeable guy, super experienced with all sorts of flying, and he showed this to me just yesterday, and I was blown away by this. So I'm going to use X-Plane uh, for my platform. Quick note, my joystick is old, so it's a bit buggy and uncalibrated, so the rudder pedals are a bit messed up in it. That kind of stuff. I'm away from home without my, my gaming PC, so I don't have all my fancy kit for Flight Simulator right now. I'm using the Caronado Cessna 152. I know it's not the most realistic, however, it will do the trick for our flight today. So first off, we're going to do it in VMC so you guys can see how the aircraft behaves when we use this technique. And I promise you guys, this is really simple. So let's assume that we've lost all instruments. We're unsure whether we are flying straight on level, spatially disoriented. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce the throttle. So bring the power to idle. The next step is to select full flaps and of course, stage by stage. If you're gonna practice this in a real aircraft with an instructor, which I highly recommend, make sure to check that you're below VFE. If you're in an emergency situation, too bad. Next, you're going to apply full nose-up trim. No, I'm not joking. Full nose-up trim. So with the Cessna from Caronado, it seems to be doing left spirals, and I think that's the case with the real aircraft. We tried this with a PA-28 in the real aircraft. It turned to the right instead, and it had a bit more marked purposes, so there's bigger changes in attitude. However, the aircraft never stalled. It was always in a safe attitude. Now guys, if you're flying in IMC and you have a bad day and all your instruments fail, then put the aircraft in this configuration and you'll break out from under the clouds, hopefully at a high enough altitude with enough visibility so that you can navigate either to an airfield, to a field, or to a road or somewhere you can land safely. Okay guys, so I'm going to set up x so that we're flying in the soup, all white out, and all of a sudden, I'm going to have all the instruments fail. In fact, I'm going to start it with all the instruments failed. We will have no idea of what our attitude is. I'll use this technique without touching the control column, in my case, the joystick. And we'll see if we can land safely from that situation. I'm setting it up so that the aircraft is 1,500 feet in altitude, and that the cloud base is 500 feet above ground level. Okay, so we are in IMC and all our instruments have failed. We have no idea what our attitude is. So let's follow the procedure. Throttle idle, full flaps, and full nose up trim. Now let's just wait until we break out from under the clouds. And there we go. Now let's land this aircraft. And as you can see, it's perfectly doable. It seems very safe. Obviously, there are some limitations. For example, terrain and also obstacles. So you should always know where you are and whether it's safe to do this. But ultimately, if you have no instruments, this will give you a fighting chance. Otherwise, there's really not much you can do. 
What I suggest you do is you go out there with an instructor in the aircraft and try it out. See if it works for your particular aircraft. It's good to have an instructor because if you put the aircraft in a very unusual attitude, they'll be able to recover. Okay guys, that's really all I have to say. It's a short video, but when I found out about this technique, I was super excited and I just had to share it with you. Okay guys, if you like this video, please share, comment, subscribe, press that like button. Um, share, please. I think every pilot should know this. I can already hear some of you guys commenting, saying stuff like, but I already knew this. Every pilot in my school already knew this. Well, I didn't, and I'm sure a bunch of pilots I know didn't. So, go ahead and share this video. I think it's a good public announcement. Well, that's it for now. I'm Tarek Maryface. I'll see you guys next time, and happy flying.